Hello there, welcome to VNN's latest episode of This Month in Oklahoma, August edition. I'm Brittany Harlow. Happy Shooting Sports Month, that's per proclamation by Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt. Our biggest story this month making national headlines. An Oklahoma judge issues a $572 million judgment against Johnson & Johnson after finding the company liable for harm it caused in the state's opioid crisis. It was the first judgment of its kind against an opioid manufacturer in the U.S. Oklahoma Attorney General Mike Hunter says the money will be used to abate the epidemic, which has already claimed the lives of 6,000 Oklahomans. Thousands more are still struggling with addiction. Who's ready for September? EMSA issued several medical heat alerts in August, with the heat index reaching upwards of 110 degrees on multiple days. Dozens of people were treated for suspected heat-related illnesses. With a few weeks left of summer, officials urged citizens to make plans to stay safe. Speaking of staying safe, 25 new Tulsa police officers in training hit the streets this month. After graduating the academy, these new recruits are now working on a 16-week program with field training officers. Once completed, they will start filling vacancies in November. They have their hands full. This month, a particularly gruesome month for crimes against women in Tulsa. 35-year-old Oscar Mariscalera was arrested for first-degree murder after police say he beat his wife, 27-year-old Veronica Cervantes Mejia, to death. Detravion Smith was arrested for domestic violence, amongst other charges, after police say he beat the mother of his newborn child unconscious, then choked the woman while she was holding their baby. We're told when the family dog tried to help her, Smith choked and beat the dog too. In other crime-related news, VNN's latest in-depth report, The Truth About Tulsa Gangs, was released this month. We not only break down the biggest gangs operating within city limits, we also explain the socioeconomic factors some say are driving gang-related crimes. Find the link to The Truth About Tulsa Gangs video in our free plug-in app. Calling all artists. Tulsa Mayor G.T. Bynum looking for proposals for the city's Greenwood Art Project. Funded by a $1 million grant from Bloomberg Philanthropies, we're talking visual arts, performing arts, musicians, poetry, and more. Art workshops will be held in September. Proposals can be submitted until November 1. Statewide, 50 Oklahoma teachers received $70,000 in grants from the Oklahoma State Department of Education. The funds came from designated portions of individual and corporate tax refunds. Teachers can start applying for 2020-21 grants to support English learners, social studies, and arts instruction in the spring. Find the link to apply in the free plug-in app powered by VNN, available for download for both iOS and Android. That's where you'll find more information about all of these stories and more all facts, no opinion or bias, news and weather. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, I'm VNN's Brittany Harlow.